to chroma key a video with a chroma key pro, right click your source and select chroma key source. Right now you need to select the chroma key pro. For the chroma key pro make sure your background is as even as possible. To start, select hue setup. When you move the hue slider you will see that the darkness of the background will change. Move the slider so that you get the background as dark as possible. The differences might be very subtle, but the better you get it here, the better the result will look. Now go to the cutoff setup. Now make sure you cut off the left peak with a cutoff low and go as close as possible so no noise is left. Do the same thing with a cutoff high. Go as close as possible to the high peak. Now switch to the feather setup. It will show you the feathered area by a blinking red marker. You can now increase or decrease the amount of feathering the key chroma key should do. Now go to the despill setup. If you increase the despill amount and despill spread values, more of color that is similar to your background will be reduced. You can also add a drop shadow by checking the drop shadow checkbox. If you want, you can adjust the direction and the spread. You can also quick mask, for example, garbage that's created by the camera, or you can also quick mask objects that send into the edges of your video. If you want to judge your chroma key, you can change the background from a checkerboard to, for example, a solid color. It could also be an image that you just drag and drop into the gray square. If you switch back to Keyed, you'll see the final key. If you like what you see, you can either keep the new background and click Create, or switch the background back to None, and then again click Create. Now you can use the newly keyed video. And I have to admit, Carl, our resident Chroma King expert, looks pretty good here, don't you think?